pretty darn hard to do that, insulate a little bit. I'm um, gonna start the video, start talking about what we're talking about, this new bank run. I had to vet it. I couldn't come out this morning and say it. Got an awesome warning from a subscriber. We're gonna talk about that a little bit. I'll start the video at two minutes so that if you guys, if it's already pre-recorded and it's not live, just click over the two minutes. Look, uh, it's bank run season. It's like, uh, it's like rainy season in California. It's coming down like cats and dogs over here and everyone's uh, driving like a moron. Yeah, and also uh, Californians were all made of sugar. So let me know that. We actually melt. I just walked out of a, getting a coffee and people like running around their hoods on. <laughs> I'm in a t-shirt. Oh gosh, what's going on with society? Tell me down below what you think of what's going on with society right now. Uh, we're in the thick of it right now. It looks like it. Um, it well, no, really, it's just started. It's really kicked off. We spoke today about a couple of different banks that popped off one last week, really went into earnest beginning of the week. They really started to sell off that Silvergate, uh, La Jolla, or out of La Jolla. And then we were talking about a bank that had exposure to them, to Silvergate, which is... Uh, I'm completely blanking out, but you guys know what I'm talking about. It's the, it's been the bank. It's been the story all day. We're going to talk about the stories below. Um, but as I hit the two minute mark, we'll start really talking about it. The fact of the matter is this is exciting times guys um, to everybody that has been watching this channel. As a matter of fact, the source that I'm about to uh, talk about said they only knew about this stuff ahead of time because of watching the channel and they have been warning people at their fund and everything's been falling on deaf ears to be honest with you. And it's getting really exciting because the end is getting closer to when we're going to be diving into the real estate market. We're going to be diving into stocks, you know, pennies on the dollar. We're going to be diving into all kinds of asset classes, especially sports cars. Honestly, come on. Tell me what car you want to buy when all this goes down. All right, two minute mark. Here we go, guys. Um, so let me, let me tell you about the warning that I got, and then we're going to dive into the story. Now, this came right after the market opened, and you're going to know why I couldn't say anything until now. I had to vet it, and now it's in the, the mainstream, but I think they're hiding something. So check this out. Hey, Ninja, just an FYI, I work at a fund, and I won't say how much they have under management, but it is large. Um, just uh, had a meeting, and we're talking about risks, what's going on right now with us, uh, the, t the bank in Silicon Valley really opened their eyes to some of their investments and other possibilities of other banks, uh, bank runs happening. And he called out Re First Republic Bank. And he says, just so you know, it's rumors right now, but it looks like the rumors may, may be coming true. We're, we're looking to uh, hold off and, and not do business there, pull back certain, you know, they're going into sort of a safety mode, right? So, you know, it takes a lot of work to vet people and to uh, get to a point where uh, we can, legitimately bring you the truth and in a timely manner. That's why I'm pulled off on the side of the freeway right now to do this because I wanted to keep my word with you guys when I started talking about uh, the bank this morning, right? Well, it's now hit the uh, news wire. So let me, let me explain some things. Uh, and when we go through this news story, you'll see the one out of CNBC, I think they're hiding something. And there's a lot of craziness going to be happening this weekend as we see bank holidays. But check this out. This is out of Wall Street Journal. First Republic Signature Bank and other regional bank stocks halted amid sell-off. Take a look at the uh, First Republic Bank, uh, Pac West Bank Corp, Western Alliance Bank Corp, and KWB NASDAQ Bank Index. Look at the chart today. Sorry. Just talk about brutal, right? Here's a story out of CNBC, and then we're going to talk about this. First Republic, other comma, other regional bank stocks sink after failure of Silicon Valley uh, Bank. It says regional and mid-sized bank stocks fell sharply on Friday as SVB Financial halted, or sorry, failed to find a buyer amid a rapid outflow of cash from clients and was shut down by regulators. Shares of First Republic fell nearly 15%. PacWest Bancorp dropped more than 35%. You talk about staggering numbers in one day. Uh, Signature Bank, Signature Bank, which was, which has heavy exposure to the crypto industry, slid almost 23%. Look at the chart from First Republic today. Look at that. I mean, literally in the matter of a day, we saw it go from $123 a share down to $81. You want to talk about volatility, you've got it. 
It says right here, the declines on Friday were building on a large sell-off from Thursday. The S&P Regional Bank ETF fell 16% for the week, which would be its worst week since March of 2020. Those crazy dates are coming out again. It's absolutely amazing. SVB came under pressure after announcing Wednesday it lost $1.8 billion on asset sales. Now, now think about this. The story goes on to just talk about SVB. I get an alert from someone that works in the industry and they're saying, we got a call that we're looking at Signature Bank maybe having a run withdrawals. As a matter of fact, there are people out there circulating information and this could be a total rumor, but let me know what you guys, if you guys have seen something, but I got an email today showing uh, a high ranking individual in SVB selling stock, lots of stock, about two weeks ago. Now, wouldn't that be amazing if we found out that's true? I have a feeling, I got a weird feeling that we're gonna find out some information over this weekend. And I want you to understand that these people are in it for themselves. And that's, that's the name of the game. This is literally us versus them. The 1% versus the 99. And that's what I'm trying to get people prepared for. Because, you know, in 2008, banks, they failed you. Thank you so much, RMB, for the Super Chat. They failed you. They turned around and they risked your money, your deposits, and gambled it. And they made windfall profits and they took those profits. Then they, the banks failed. And their daddy, the Federal Reserve, we got to stop calling it Federal Reserve. We should just call it like private nothing. That would be a great name for a bank. We're private and we have nothing. Um, they really need to, uh, they, they went to them for a bailout. And the government is the one that actually funded it. And when I say government, it was you. You were the bag holder. You're the one that has to pay back all that debt with interest in the form of taxes. That's why the government keeps raising them on us. So my idea and my thought, and this is why I started the channel two and a half years ago. What if everybody got ready? What if, hold on, I got to stop here. To the 169 people that hit the thumbs up, there's literally almost 1,200 people on the thing. Thank you so much. Because without you guys hitting the thumbs up, uh, the tubes just, they don't want to share this stuff. So thank you very much. But think about it. What if we are all ready? What if we are sitting back on the sidelines and we're like, yeah, we're out of debt. Yep, we own everything cash. We got uh, got some dry powder ready. This isn't the moment. We're all sitting back like horses, race horses in the stalls. And we're literally going for that little, or a dog race with that little bunny that goes running down the track real fast, right? And that's cheap real estate, cheap stocks, cheap sports cars. And... The bank has its own thoroughbreds or, or dogs on the other side trying to get that same little bunny. What about for the first time in history, if we were ready for this and we weren't victims and the banks didn't get to, oh, sorry, you can't make the loan that we gave you that was super risky. Now the economy's dead. We're going to have to take that house back from you. We're going to have to take that car back from you. Oh yeah, those stocks. Uh, they're gonna have to liquidate them by law because we're gonna we're gonna seize that stuff too. Uh, weird. There you go. What if all of a sudden we were all ready and then we pounced? You know, because the truth is, not everybody's gonna get ready. How many people in this live stream right now? And again, thank you, three hundred sixty-seven thumbs up. Thank you so much, and thank you for hitting the subscribe button today. I really appreciate it, especially if you've been unsubscribed. So another thing, literally lost a hundred subscribers in the last uh, hour. There's something weird going on. So my point being is that what if we were all ready for this and we pounced? There's no way you're going to be able to warn everyone. There's no way. I'm trying. Uh, you're never going to, like, tell me in the, in the comment section how many people have family members or friends that are laughing at you or mock you or don't even want to be around you because all you keep doing is trying to help them by warn them and get them ready for an eventual collapse in a market, which happens every seven to 10 years in a recession cycle. But every 50 to 100 years, and uh, we're at that 100-year cycle, we get the big mama, the big, the big kahuna. How many people have got that kind of relationship with people where they just don't want to talk to you? So the truth is, we're going to try. We're going to bang our heads against walls, uh, and we're going to do our best, and then we're going to take advantage of it. Let the banks go and feed on, feed on them, but let's go and buy as many assets as we can. Let's go absolutely crush it. I see nothing but positives here. 
there is nothing negative about a crash if you're ready. As a matter of fact, more millionaires were made during the Great Depression than really any time in history around that time. Why? Because there was innovation. There were good-hearted Americans and people around the world because the Great Depression flew, flowed throughout the, country, the world that were innovative and thought outside the box and started businesses and bought other businesses that had failed from people that didn't see this coming. My great-grandfather purchased farmland from neighboring farms that over leveraged their farms because they wanted to buy the newest, fanciest tractors, the new technology. And then when everything, the bottom dropped out and those uh, loans were called due, they lost their farms. My great grandfather bought them and was able to keep farmers, friends in business. But what would happen if someone they didn't know bought those farms? They'd be out on the streets. They'd be in the soup lines. So that's what I want to do here with all of you. I want not only to get wealthy myself, I mean, that's the goal. Um, but I want to take a million people with me. That's the story. That's the legacy. That's what makes it fun. I want to run into you guys like I do every day and I see smiles, you know, like this person that warned me at 7am, look, I work for a large fund and this is what we're getting. And I have a feeling, a weird feeling all of a sudden on Monday, it's like, oh yeah, there was sort of a run on that bank. We didn't want to tell you because we don't want to make it worse. We actually want to put out talking heads like Janet Yellen to come out and go, everything's fine. We're going to take care of this. Shut down that bank. Yeah, did you do it? This is great. You guys want some cookies? You did it. Great. That's what's going on. Ben Bernanke, good news. Ben Bernanke, the guy that was 100% wrong about the Great Recession. Uh, I don't really uh, think I uh, agree with your premise here, Maria. Uh, honestly, real estate can't fall all at the same time around the country. It'll be uh, kept in pockets like in Las Vegas, California. Wrong. You were wrong, Ben. But hey, good news, Ben. You have a great career selling books. I can't believe anyone would buy it. Probably people that voted for the president. And you're getting paid like a quarter of a million dollars at speaking events. I don't know who's showing up. It's not the ninja. Seriously, do you guys feel like you're going crazy? I do. But then again, I got the hairdo to go with it. Look, the cool and exciting thing is, check this out. In about two weeks, after you've warned a bunch of friends that everything's going to crap in a handbasket, it's going to be over. And you're going to be like, what just happened? And it's just this normal cycle of things. The government's like, we figured it out. We bought them off. We took on all the bad debt. And then we're going to tax the crap out of you. You know those thousands of agents that you don't think we hired because we said it and then we rescinded it and then we probably just did it. They're going to come tax you. But here's the thing. It's going to go calm. And then by about quarter three or quarter four of 2023, we're going to see ourselves a good old fashioned barn burner of a stock market. Why? Well, it's because all the truth comes out. Sorry, I'm in a weird mood right now. But uh, those darn auto loans... Those, uh, you know, done. Yeah, you know that student debt? Yeah, why not? Why don't we listen to AOC? Now, that's another person that, man, who was smart enough to vote for AOC? Did anybody in this live stream vote for that lady? Because, man, she's super bright because she's super educated. She's got degrees with lots of letters on them. And she's saying we should forgive it. Oh, wait, she's not that dumb. She figured out that she could buy votes. See, that's the thing. What was it? Thomas Jefferson that said once a once a public can figure or the people figure out that they could vote themselves for prosperity, democracy's dead. Oh, so that's what's been going on. That's what's happening. So would you now we all identify the problem, right? And thank you. 606 people that hit the thumbs up. Thank you so much. We've all identified the problem. All right, cool. So can we go change Congress? Do you think that we all have the ability to change Congress? I mean, I'd love term limits. Do you see any of those morons voting? Hey, uh, guys, we've got this great idea. Let's uh, let's vote for term limits. Yeah, you know, Nancy, what do you think? You know, Skeletor, wake up. Oh, man, it's like weekend at Bernie's with her. No, you don't want to? You like being a career poet. Oh, wait, all of us like career. We love writing the rules and making lots of money. Oh, yeah. So it's really hard to shut down that, right? Okay, cool. Copy. So how about this? Why don't we all get super rich and then not need the banks? It's super, super easy. I'm not joking. Like, I'm not joking. Like, I'm scraping the bottom of the barrel here. Ideas. Super simple. But is it? Because if we all became wealthy and we didn't need the government, that's less money, that, that less power they have. We could actually transform it by us, the poor people, becoming rich. I'm not joking. 
this is probably going to be the coolest club you've ever been a part of. And the reason why I say that is because this club is about human beings coming together that are positive, energetic, and have hope. But it's going to take hard work. So you're also around hardworking people. I love being around hardworking people. When I'm around people that are smarter than me and better than me, it makes me better and smarter. It's just it. Show me your five closest friends. I'll show you your future. We are having a straight up bank crash right now. This is fun. It's going to get contained. It's fun to tell you, see, look, it's happening. Just like when I was warning everybody about real estate crashing and everyone laughed. Not everyone, not you guys, but like the 1%, the ones that watch cat videos and that are offended because they just bought a house. Um, Now look, it's happening and it's going to get better. And interest rates are going to keep going up because the Fed's screwed. Oh, did I, could I say that on YouTube? Can I say that? Yeah. Thank you, 755 people that hit the thumbs up. Guys, the point being is this. We have got to go and crush it. We got to go do it together. Get around like-minded people. Get energized. Get excited. This is literally the best news you could have. Why? Because it reaffirms your faith as you watch all this craziness all over the internet. Bank runs. Banks being shut down deposits and a withdrawal. Oh, I bet you could deposit money in all these banks. Who's dumb enough to try right now? Hey, I got this great idea. Let's see if we could deposit. Can't pull any money out, but let's deposit money. I bet you that's no problem. What crooks. So let's change it by us becoming successful, by us becoming wealthy. And uh, guys, I just want to thank you. Thank you to everybody that shares my videos. Thank you to everybody that helps get the words out, the, the truth, because Without truth tellers or people giving good solutions and good ideas and being givers rather than takers, this is going to change and it's going to turn in your benefit. All right, guys, I hope you had a great day. The Economic Ninja is out.